Hello everybody, here's Christian Lamichka for Country Music News International and today on the show we present you the lovely and cute and beautiful, whatever you call her, <laughs> Macy Martin. Macy, it's probably not, I believe not your first time. I interviewed so many people before, but I bet we met last year? Not last year, but the year before that. Uh, correct, you yes. got me. Well, it was I'm, it last year at the Renaissance. Yes, correct. Well, I'm getting older, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> so Maisie, what happened since the last two years to you? A lot has happened. You know, last time we spoke, I just released my first music video and it had been picked up by Great American Country Channel, which to my understanding, two years later, they're still spinning it to this day, which is amazing. And I released another single, uh, two other singles actually, and um, Heart Sleeve Soul, my latest one, hit the top 40 on the Music Row charts. And now I just released a new single, which is called Broke Down, and it's coming to radio March 7th. You know, folks, where this title Broke Down comes from? She spent so much money to produce your last single. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a song about a truck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it, it's a breakup song. So, you know, broke down in another way, too. <laughs> okay. Well, my mistake. <laughs> But, well, hey, did you recognize that since we published your phone number the last time? No. Um, I hear that you had to change your phone number. Is that correct? Didn't have to do that, but I did have to change my email. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Macy is one of the artists which answer all, all her Facebook requests by herself. <laughs> um, It's true. Yep, that it is. And here is what you can do is she loves go out for dinner. So, and she will tell us now which she, what dinner she prefer and then you can email her. <laughs> Good old fashioned macaroni and cheese or grilled cheese, that's what I lived off as a kid. And it's pretty darn tasty if I do say so myself. So folks, try at home first. If you can cook it by yourself, that will impress her much more <laughs> than you invite her for lunch or dinner. But well, let's talk about still about your music. Um, how did you grow in the last two years with your music? You know, I, so we released Find My Melody, the last time I spoke to you, which was a full 12 track album. And since then, we've kind of, I've just been writing so, so much. I was written everything on that album. And now, in the last six months alone, I've written probably about like 250 songs. And so we're just kind of building, you know, and compiling all the songs and figuring out if we want to release an album or what we want to go after. You know, we're just figuring out our goals and releasing new material along the way. Tell us a little bit about how do you get the ideas for the songs? You know, it's different. Every single song, sometimes, you know, you'll hear someone say something and you're like, that kind of sounds cool. It's almost like, you know, when you are sitting in a restaurant and you your ear picks out like a piece of a conversation, but it sounds unique and different. And that could be a really cool hook line and you can twist it a little bit and maybe wrap your own story around it. Or sometimes it, it's straight like, this is an experience I had and now I've got to go write about it, you know, to kind of like push it out of my system. So what's harder to write the lyrics or to create uh, the sound behind? You know, I, to me, you know, both of them are difficult in a sense that the words are so important because it's something that you want to convey and something that you're trying to express that'll touch somebody. But music does that too. And You know, I always love the music. I kind of, I enjoy writing um, to music, but then I also enjoy like coming up with a hook and letting the music evolve around the lyrics of the song because, you know, you can put an upbeat song, but you can't put a, a meaningful always message behind that. You know, sometimes upbeat songs are more like fun and sassy and stuff like that. Not to say that all upbeats are, upbeat songs yeah. are that way, but you know, in slow songs, vice versa, the same exact way. So, you know, it's all about how the music and it's a, it's a mending and golden relationship that is something that you do. You have to caress and grow. Any plans to uh, tour Europe? I would love to. That's my, <laughs> not for sure plans right now, but if you, I would love to, like, sign me up.
<laughs> so to sign her up, the best way is? Follow me on all of my social medias. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, all at Macy Martin Music. And for all bookers, you want to get in touch with her to find out uh, what the deal is, go to MacyMartinMusic.com. So folks, you know, by the last time we published the phone number, this time, no chance. <laughs> so stay here on Country Music News International if we change our mind. <laughs> Have a great one.